Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly video. This one's gonna be a little different because we're gonna talk about migration of our ROS uh, systems. Um, this year we've been started to migrate um, our ROS environment from the latest distribution, which was Melodic, into um, Noetic, which is uh, the latest one and it has a bunch of advantages that we're gonna talk about in this video. And we're gonna talk about how to overcome some of the issues that arise when you try to make this migration. So the, the main thing that is changing in this uh, release is the addition of Python 3 uh, over Python 2. So starting uh, and in January 1st of this year, of 2021, uh, Python 2 is deprecated, so the people at Python will no longer will be updating it, and so Python 3 is going to be used across the board, and this is why it's recommended to use Noetic, the Noetic distribution. Uh, so you can see that it has, it will, it will be more useful to, to use it since it has all the latest uh, releases. And right now, it's not quite there yet in terms of ROS packages because a lot of the um, ROS packages that are maintained by the community are still in a previous version. But um, as time goes on, it'll start getting back up to where it should be and, and, and there's really no reason why you shouldn't uh, migrate to Noetic. So you can see actually that if you go to the constructsim.com, which is our platform where you can learn robotics, you'll see that we've started to add this, um, these courses that work in Noetic. So when you start this course, you'll be doing it in Noetic. So like ROS Basics in five days, or Python 3 for robotics in Noetic. Um, so there's a couple of things that you need to know in order to uh, make this transition as smooth as possible. Um, so I'm going to talk you through it. So the first thing I want to talk about is Python 3. Like I said, Python 3 is going to be used in, um, in Noetic from now on. Um, and I'm going to put these links uh, in the description of the video, uh, which are just guides for the migration and including what you should do uh, when transitioning to Python 3 and uh, li a list of things that um, don't work in Python 3 anymore that used to work in Python 2. Uh, so when you start, for example, when you put a package that was working in kinetic or melodic and you put it into noetic you're going to run into some issues and, and i'm going to show you the most um, common issues that happened to me for example when i started to make this transition so like i said python 3 is going to be the biggest change so for for and the example that i'm going to use I, i've started as rostject uh, in Noetic. So for that, you can go ahead and try it. You go to this button, My Rosjects, and you can create a Rosject that is a Noetic distribution. It's already here. So in case, let's say you have a Rosject in Kinetic and you want to switch it to Noetic, all you got to do is make a copy of it and um, sort of debug uh, the errors that will show up in the Noetic version. So here you can click Noetic and you can start a Rosject um, in the Noetic distribution. I've already done that, um, just to show the example, and it's this migrating to Noetic Rosject. So in here, I wanted to show you sort of the most usual errors, which are basically two of them, which have to do with print and uh, the shack rows. So, in here, I've already cloned just a random project from our public repositories at the con construct, which is 
the Husky simulation. So this this guy. Um, I'm gonna open the ID so you can see better, and I'm gonna show you uh, the errors that popped up uh, and how to fix them. So, for example, I already have this and it's ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is compile all the new, um, compile the new the, the workspace in Noetic and check if there's no problems. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and. Luckily, in this one, um, sometimes you'll get errors um, for these two things that I'm about to tell you, but sometimes it happens once you launch the simulation. And in this case, this is just going to compile, which is great. So one thing less to worry about in our migration. And um, so I have a launch file that perfectly shows this error which is this one, Ross Launch Husky Navigation Launch Main.launch And there you go. That's an error that ha that wasn't uh, present in Kinetic, but now it's present and it's telling you that something's wrong. So when you look at the at the error message you'll find that this is telling you the param XML is giving you an error with this command. So this is the one I was telling you about, the chakra issue. And for this, I'm going to share this, um, this link, which is a great one to just um, start looking into what you need to change. And I'm not going to cover all of these because there are so many and I'm just going to show you the most common ones. And one of them is this guy. As you can say, as you can see, it says use chakra instead of chakra.py because chakra.py is deprecated in Noetic and it has been removed from chakra. So, and it gives you an example, but right now I'm going to show you the example, which happened to be right here. And as you can see, this launch file is trying to use a chakra.py. So all we need to do is to go into that location and remove, remove it. So we're going to go into where it's telling us. Error messages are always really helpful. So make sure you read the whole thing and where it's pointing so you can quickly debug it and not get frustrated. So it's telling us that the problem is in this spawn underscore husky dot launch. So it's right there. You can see it right here. So we're going to open it up and change that chakra.py. So you can use Vim or the IDE over here, whatever you want, but this is a lot quicker for me. So I'd rather use this. So here you can see that it's trying to use find chakra, chakra.py. So all we need to do is delete this. And that's it. That's one of the things that will pop up the most often that you know you have to change it in order to work in Noetic. So if you try and launch the launch file again, you'll start getting a lot of warnings um, that used to not be there. And that's because of uh, a combination of things starting from gazebo that are, uh, there's issues and things like that. But as long as there's no errors that will prevent you from launching the simulation, it's a good start to, to start working with the Noetic version. So here I opened the simulation and you can see that it is working fine. So in terms of simulations, that's really the most often error that you're going to find into it. Um, so if you go to the guide that I'm going to share with you, you're going to see all of the things that can be wrong with it that you can change in order to adapt it 
so it works. Um, and like I said, the chakra.py one is the most often and a print issue with Python 3. Um, so in here, in this link, um, Python 2 and 3 compatible code, which I'm going to share as, as well, it tells you all of the things in Python 3 that have changed, uh, that you can look in your code in case you have them, and in case there's an error pointing you to it. And this is a good guy that will tell you how to change it. And the most often one is the print uh, statement, which is now a function in Python 3. So now you always have to put it in parentheses. So for example, to reproduce that error, we're just gonna create a simple Python. So let's say hello.py, like that. And let's say we're gonna do it at, since this is the noetic distribution, the Python that is being used here is the Python 3. So if we do something like print hello without parentheses, and we can, we're gonna stop the simulation and we can go back to our SRC to make this executable. I'm just gonna open it from here. There we go, there's our file, and we can make it executable with chmod plus x hello.py. And if we try and run it, you'll see that it's giving you this error, syntax error. And it tells you exactly what you need to do, actually. So in this case, which is the most common one, all you do is find all the instances where print is being used without parentheses and change it. So we do that and run it again. And there you go, you can see how it's doing its job correctly. So like I said, there's a bunch of these that um, are described in this link that I'm gonna share. But this is the most um, common one because, for example, this is integer division. Um, it used to be that in Python 3, it um, returned a, sorry, in Python 2, it returned a float. So in order for you to, and now it, it's actually, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. For example, the integer division resulted in an int, in an integer before in Python 3 but the result is actually a float. So, for example, if you want an operation like this to be an integer, you have to put integer before that. And there's uh, other ways that explains you how to fix it, for example, in octal numbers, if you use octal numbers in your code, or some uh, methods of importing that aren't really the same, but these are uh, specific uh, submodules. So it's not very common, but in case it happens to you, this will tell you how to do it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, oh, and this one's pretty pretty common too. The use of um, X range has been changed to just range. Um, so, but again, in the error message, when you try to either compile or run the uh, code you're trying to do, it will tell you that there's a problem with X ranges. So you can go to this web to this link and see, oh, there's a problem with X ranges. So now I have to change it to that. And basically that is it. That is the basics that you need to know um, for working at the construct uh, and the construct drawjects and things like that, where you have saved rawjects in kinetic and you want to um, put him in, in noetic. So remember is chakra.py 
the print statements and ranges are the three things that are going to take up 95% of your um, migration time, let's say. Um, and if you have uh, a complicated code where there are things that aren't giving you errors, that's why those migration guides were created in order for you to uh, um, transition smoothly into Noetic, which is recommended because again, you always want to have the latest version in, unless some specific cases, but since Python 2 is going to be deprecated and Python 3 really uh, is fixing a lot of the things that were wrong with Python 2, this is the, um, my recommendation is for you to use, and besides, and use um, Python 3 and Noetic, and besides, um, Ubuntu 20, which is the distribution for Linux, uh, it's gonna, it works very well with Noetic and Python 3. And so these are the things that you should look out for. And yeah, that's it. I hope this video was useful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll try to address those. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for next week video. See you later. Bye.